In this video we're going to take a, a look at NSLOOKUP. Now NSLOOKUP is a, a network admin uh, command line tool and it's available for Linux and for Windows and it's used for troubleshooting DNS related problems. Uh, you can use it in two modes, interactive and non-interactive and I'll show you both modes. To get into interactive mode you just type NSLOOKUP and hit return and you should get an NSLOOKUP, NSLOOKUP command prompt. You use the interactive mode when you're going to do a lot of uh, NS uh, lookup queries and you use the non-interactive mode when you just want to do a single or a, a just a couple of DNS queries. And in this video we're going to use NS lookup to find the IP address of a host, to find the domain name uh, of an IP address, to find mail servers for a domain and to find the name servers for a host. And they're probably the most common usage scenarios. So here we are at the command prompt. I just type nslookup and I get the nslookup command prompt here. And straight away it comes back and it tells me the default server, this is the default DNS server that's providing the information is the BT hub. And the address of that server is this. This is the my home gateway hub. Now yours will obviously be different to, to this. Now let's start off by a simple query. We're going to put in the name of a host and hit return. And it tells me the server that resolved this is this one here and it's a non-authoritative answer and you will see this a lot and the IP address of that host name is this one here. Now non-authoritative means that the DNS server that actually provided the answer to my query isn't res directly responsible for this domain name but it actually knew the name because it had previously resolved that name and so it actually provided that information from uh, a cached uh, record. And we can do what's called a reverse lookup. We can put in the IP address and it should give us a name back. This time it doesn't give us Steve's internet guide, it actually gives us the name of the server. This is the DNS server that's responsible for this uh, IP address. Okay, for more queries, if you just type help, it, it gives you all the information on how to use NSLOOKUP. And one of the most important things is this here, the type. And you can see there's various type of records we can query. There's the A records, which is the standard IP4 addresses. There's the 4A records, which is the IP6 addresses. And there's the A plus 4As, which is the IP6 and IP4 and I'll show you that now. There's also the MX which we're going to look at in the name server and the pointer records etc there. So to use this we just set type and we're going to look for IP6 addresses or we're going to resolve IP6 addresses so let's go back and put the same. Now when we query it again we actually don't get anything and this is probably because the host doesn't have any IP6 addresses. So let's try something that will have one, which is Google. And you can see it gives us the IP6 address. And if we want to see the IP4 and IP6 addresses, we just set the type. We do it again and then we get the IP6 and the IP4 address. Now, if we want to find the mail servers responsible for a particular domain name, then we set the type this time to MX, mail exchange records. So we look at the mail exchange records. And this time we don't actually put the host name in, we put the domain name rather than the host name. So I'm going to get rid of the WW. And you can see here, stevesinternetguide.com and these are the mail exchanges that are responsible for this domain name. Now if I want to find the DNS server responsible for a particular domain name I just type or set the type to name server and put in the host name and it's telling me the primary name server is this name here. Okay, so far we've been using a default 
DNS server to resolve these so if we want to switch servers we just type in the server command and the IP address or the DNS name of the server we're going to go to the Google server DNS server and let's try that again and this time it's getting the information from the Google server and not from the default server that I was using previously but it's giving me the same result now to get the type back we just set the type back to and this time it resolves it to an IP address okay that's how to use it in, in interactive mode now to get out of there I hit control C and I'm back to the command prompt in non-interactive mode I type in nslookup and just the domain name and again you can see the same result and it's using this here now if I want to look at the MX records I use the minus query type switch minus query type equals MX and again remember we use the domain name and not the host name and I get the same answer as I did before in interactive mode and I can use other switches and if I want to find help I just you use the slash question mark option now this is on Windows uh, if you do this on Linux I tried this on my Raspberry Pi and the slash question mark is not available um, the usual uh, help is not available on on the Pi I'm not sure whether it's available on other version on other Linux distributions uh, I haven't tried it but you will find a difference is what I want to say that if you're using it on Windows and using it on on Linux okay just to finish off uh, the definitive book on DNS and it's got a section on troubleshooting and NS lookup and dig is uh, the DNS and bind book and you can get that on Amazon there's also a tutorial on the site that you might want to take a look at using NS lookup and that brings us to the end of the video and if you've got any comments then please leave them below if you like the video then you can use the like button below and to get notified of new videos you can always subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to share this on social media then please feel free until next time goodbye